Okay, I've got a video here. I was going to show how I flash the um, H801 RGBW controller uh, with the new firmware to make it work on smart things. Um, I had a lot of trouble with it, so I thought I'd get a video to help anyone else out uh, that might have the same kind of trouble. I've never done a flashing for one of these before. It's not too hard when you see how it's done. So I've got it all connected up here now. I've got the um, uh, the FTDI controller, and I've got it jumpered in uh, directly into the um, into the board itself. You can see that blue wires the uh, the blue wires which jumpering um, J3, and then the other uh, four wires is my uh, transmit, receive, uh, and then the voltage in the ground. So it's coming across, and I've already got it plugged into my USB. So now if you come up over here, um, you're going to be able to see that I've got my device manager up. It's hiding right now underneath it, but the device manager's up and it shows I've, uh, I've got um, COM5. That's the way it's been defined under this USB. Okay, I've got the command prompt up. Uh, I just typed it into the search under my Windows 10. I'm going to go ahead and right click and uh, run this as an administrator. Uh, I'm going to pull it up over here just so we can kind of see how it runs when it does the flash. I'm just going to open it up full screen and uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the directory to where I've got it, my uh, uh, where I downloaded uh, the files, the firmware files. So I'm going to I uh, changed directory to where my download is, and I've loaded the uh, ESP Easy um, uh, Flash software in over there. Now I'm going to run the command. I'm just copying and pasting just for the interest of time. So um, I've got the uh, command over here. I'm going to go ahead and paste it in. And, uh, and it's all ready to go. You can see I've already defined it right here. This is COM5 because that's what showed up in my um, over here in my device manager. You can see COM5 sitting right here under the USB serial port. So you got to match that up uh, right here in the definition of the, uh, of the script. So let me go and get it started. Let's hit enter. And uh, this way you can kind of get a feel for the amount of time it takes for flashing. This is what you're going to see happen. You can see those little dots as it's loading the... Uh, um, the Smart Life um, RGB controller uh, firmware in. By the way, this is really awesome job that Eric did on this stuff, and uh, um, is the it's the firmware that we're loading here. So this is just to give you a feel for how long it takes. It doesn't take too long, uh, but the important thing here is that I, I don't want to touch my jumper wires because they're just sitting in the pinholes, the solder pinholes. So. I'm uh, just letting it sit uh, slow or okay just finished and it says the uh, it loaded it all up so there you go that's the uh, the way it looks and this is what it looks like now down over here and the next step is to go ahead and get it um, on Wi-Fi.